Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Starting next year, an iconic hotel staple will be banned in a single state with fines of up to $250 for those who refuse to comply. A bill was passed in New York State mandating that large hotels no longer offer small containers of hospitality care products in the hopes of cutting down on single-use plastic. It goes into effect on January 1, 2025, banning toiletry bottles under 12 ounces at hotels with more than 50 rooms, according to the state's Department of Environmental Conservation. Hotels and motels with fewer than 50 rooms will need to follow suit by January 1, 2026. A hospitality personal care product is defined as a product provided by a hotel and intended to be applied to or used on the human body or any part thereof for cleansing, according to the legislation introduced in 2019. In this day and age, we have to watch our carbon footprint, and we have to stop using plastics and all sorts of stuff as best we can, John Fitzpatrick, a hotelier, told the New York Times. Fitzpatrick, who owns two four-star hotels in Midtown Manhattan, says he and his team are working on how to operate with the removal of the toiletries once the ban goes into effect. At first he thought of using pump-top bottles that are mounted to the wall but worried they would be difficult to clean. His team proposed using small tinfoil packages similar to ketchup packets, however, Fitzpatrick think it would be difficult for someone to open in the shower with wet hands. You know, I thought companies would be coming in with plenty of new ideas, he said. But here we are sitting around the table. Hotels that break the rules will first receive a warning with 30 days to correct the violation. However, if the violation is repeated, hotels will be liable to the state for a civil penalty of $250. If the problem persists, another fine of $500 will follow, according to the legislation. Some hotels have already begun the process of making adjustments. We have long been focused on our residential amenities program, switching from small toiletry bottles to larger, pump-topped bottles as part of our commitment to reduce plastic waste, a Marriott Hotel spokesperson told local Fox affiliate WNYW. Meanwhile, a Hilton spokesperson told the outlet that properties were required to transition to full-size shampoo, conditioner, and soap amenities, eliminating single-use miniature bottles and reducing disposed bars of soap as of 2023. Some travelers slammed the new legislation, laughing it off as a joke. Are you kidding me? Let's eliminate diapers and needles put in our landfill, sick. Can we get someone with common sense for our bigger problems? Read a Facebook post. Another person was more understanding of the change but still had some issues. I read in the New York Times that New York will ban large hotels from providing guests with tiny plastic bottles of shampoo and soap, they wrote. Hotels in New York will be required to forgot small bottles that contain hospitality care. This includes any product provided by a hotel that is intended to be applied to or used on the human body or any part thereof for cleansing, according to the legislation. The law goes into effect on January 1, 2025, for hotels with more than 50 rooms. Hotels and motels with less than 50 rooms are expected to comply by 2026. Hotels that don't comply will receive a warning first and will have 30 days to correct the issue. However, if the problem persists, a fine of $250 will be issued. Hotels still providing bottles after the second violation will be fined $500, according to the legislation. A hearing or opportunity to be heard shall be provided prior to the assessment of any civil penalty. Source, Department of Environmental Conservation. Fine with me, the last NYC hotel I stayed in had plastic bottles so tiny that they were hard to squeeze and dispensed a drop at a time. I understand the desire to cut costs, but what a pain. The bill was introduced in the state legislature in 2019 by former Senator Todd Kaminsky and Stephen Engelbright, a former state assemblyman who is now a Suffolk County legislator. Governor Kathy Hochul signed it into law in 2021, however, it was delayed to give hotels a chance to use products that had already been bought, said Engelbright. New York is the size of many countries, so New York's role is watched, he added.